Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be going over sharpening one of my most used blades, this M9 bayonet, with my new Wii 66 Precision Knife Sharpener. I've been using Wii 66 for a few months now, very happy with it. Actually uh, reviewed it a couple months ago, and if you want to take a look at that video, you can see it up now. I'll link it up in the top right, as well as in the description field. But the one issue that I had, unfortunately, is when it came to sharpening is this thicker bayonet blade, it wouldn't fit into the vise. It was just a bit too thick, and that obviously was an issue. Well, luckily, Wicked Edge recently released this dual cam vise jaw for quarter inch blades, which is ideal for my M9 bayonet. I use this knife very often in the field. It's definitely a workhorse. Uh, it, it's heavy, it does the job, it goes through many things, so of course it gets its use. And with its use comes maintenance, and one of the most important ways to maintain your blades is to keep them sharp. So inside this jaw pack are the new jaws. And what we need to do is replace the existing jaws on the Wii 66 with these newer jaws so that I could accommodate this thicker blade. Now, in order to switch out these jaws, there are a couple of small little rods here that would need to be removed in order to replace and switch out these jaws. And pretty simple, using the tool that comes with the Wii 66. All I'm gonna do is press on the end, get one rod out, go to the other side, rod starts to come out, hold on to it, and you just Pull it out, that simple. Get your new quarter inch one. Just go ahead, slide that in. And from here, I wanna go ahead and replace these rods. Make sure that everything is nice and lined up. If it's not, it won't go through. Okay, so I'm just pinching the top just a little bit just to get it correctly aligned. And I'm doing this through a lens finder so it's a little bit more difficult to see exactly what I'm doing but it's still working out and working out pretty smoothly there we go they're nice and flush back in there and we are good to go and as you can tell here the jaws are wider which will now be able to accommodate this thicker knife okay so I could go ahead now put my knife in there find the sweet spot and from here I'm gonna go ahead and take my lever Pressing it down and to the right. And as you can tell here, we are good to go. Knife isn't going anywhere and it's ready to be sharpened. I'm still very impressed of how smooth this dual lock cam action works on this Wii 66. It's just a very simple operation. Anybody could do it, very little pressure and uh, gets the job done correctly every time. So I found my angle. All I have to do now is just tighten these little screws down so that the angle stays in place and I am ready to sharpen. Keep in mind that I do sharpen this knife relatively often, so I only need to make a couple passes. Since I do sharpen it often, I'm only going to need to devote a few minutes, a couple minutes at most, just to fine tune it to make sure that it keeps that super sharp wicked edge every time that I take it out in the field, it is good to go. So what I'm going to use here is I'm gonna start with the 1000 grit stones, do a couple passes with that. I'll switch over to the 1500 grit and then just to finish it off with the 2200 to give it that nice little shine as well as that razor sharp edge. So let's get to it. Yeah, it's feeling pretty good there. Feeling nice and sharp. And I'll go and switch over to the higher grit. And continue the sharpening. If 
feeling pretty good there feeling sharp it's pretty much good to go right there but since i do have the 2200 out i'm just going to give it a couple passes and that is definitely good to go okay so let's go ahead get it out of the vise nice and simple so bottom line if you do have thicker blades and want to get them razor sharp definitely consider this Wii 66 as well as the quarter inch dual cam vise jaws for the thicker blades